Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th, okay, right around the 18th. What do we have for around the 18th? Mm. We got a jumper. I think we'll take it. And then we'll just cut the deck. Oh boy, before I even see that card, because I don't even see it because it's face down, I gotta show you what I cut the deck to. <laughs> Can you see it? It's the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower card. So, destined change of course. Major disruption, major change. This is a shock, it's a surprise. Surprise! So, something's about to happen. Mm-hmm. Yep, something's happening, okay? And it is going to be a shock, okay? This is a destined change, force change, it's positive change. Something is happening that is destructive, okay? A false sense of security is crumbling. It's meant to happen. It's destined to happen. It comes out of nowhere. Now, what was this card? Ooh. Five of Cups. So, Five of Cups is grieving, right? It's mourning a loss. Crying over the spilled milk. Not realizing that there's another opportunity because the Two of Cups is over here. We got somebody here that's focusing on a loss. They're focusing on some grief, you know, they're grieving. So we got somebody here that is grieving. Deep sadness, right? That's deep sadness. Um, sorrow. Fives are about change, a need for change. Mm. Death reversed. Holding on is getting old. There's a near-death experience here, or there could be one, okay? Um, there's a need for change. This is upright. is all about change, okay? And fives are a need for change, so there is a need for change. Holding on is getting old. I mean, death reversed has been some sort of delay. King of Pentacles reversed. Now the King of Pentacles reversed is somebody not be very realistic, may not be very practical, uh, not very grounded, maybe some financial issues here, holding on to something for financial reasons or something like, or laziness. We may have somebody here that is lazy, they don't want to put in the work. Um, we could have greed here, selfishness. Hmm. Crying over a loss, not realizing that there's still an opportunity for a partnership or a union. There's a union that is being ignored or something like that. Death reversed. Something may not be over yet. There's some sort of instability here. Um, what is this King of Pentacles reversed? Eight of Cups reversed. So the Eight of Cups reversed is thinking about leaving, pretending to be happy, taking a lot of time to think about it. I feel like we have somebody here that has made a poor decision, maybe even a poor financial decision with the King of Pentacles reversed. This person may be very materialistic. You know, money's more important than love. That's the way it's always been, or stability. And it doesn't just have to be money. It's like having something stable to hold on to is more important than a relationship. Uh, but there's some sort of emotional disappointment here. Somebody's been ignoring it. They have been ignoring that they've needed to leave. You know, they've been pretending that they're happy. False impressions. And that's the tower. Four of Wands. Nine of Cups reverse. We got somebody here that is definitely not happy at all. You know? I don't know if something's been overlooked.
strength reverse. We have somebody here that, and it's right next to the, underneath the King of Pentacles reverse. I was gonna say inadequate. So now I would say probably that we'd have somebody here that may feel like they're inadequate or they're weak. No courage, no confidence, no willpower. Cowardly behavior. We may have a coward here. Four of Wands is about commitment. Now, the strength card reverse is fear. You may have somebody that is fearful of commitment. The King of Pentacles could be somebody that's unfaithful. They're not loyal, you know? Mm. Could be. Or just not feeling adequate. There's some sort of... Uh, Wanting to go in a new direction with the Eight of Cups reversed next to another eight, which is about change and abundance. Somebody's lacking abundance. They're lacking wish fulfillment. <laughs> King of Pentacles reversed next to the Nine of Cups reversed. Absolutely. They have ego issues. They have control issues. They're pretending to be happy. Not leaving because it feels secure in some way, but there's no emotional fulfillment there. Holding on is getting old. I think there's fear of commitment or there's cowardly behavior here. We may have somebody here that is very self-centered and shallow that disrespects others. Arrogant. We have somebody here that has low self-esteem. You know, the nine of cups reversed and the strength card reversed. This person has low self-esteem, low self-confidence. Uh is not happy in their current situation, but is too weak to leave, too cowardly. There's cowardly behavior here with the strength card reversed and the king of pentacles, laziness. Um, mm. Eight of wands, upright. Chariot reversed. So the chariot reverse is again cowardly, you know, no mental strength, uh, lack of determination, lack of willpower. Next, the strength card reverse. Somebody is like losing, they're losing momentum or something. There's definitely a lack of, of inner strength right next to the uh, strength card reverse, chariot and strength card reverse. We got somebody here that does not have faith. Uh, they don't have the willpower or the determination to leave this situation, whatever it is, because Eight of Cups is about leaving. Eight of Wands, though, is intimacy. It's uh, things changing fast. It's fast forward movement. News arriving. You know, it could be some news that is arriving. Messages going back and forth. There is going to be some movement. There has been a delay. Somebody has been reluctant. They've been fearful, extremely fearful. Strength reversed, chariot reversed. Not happy at all. Grieving over a loss, focusing on something that has been lost. It's like a lost commitment. Because underneath the Five of Cups is the Four of Wands. Eight of Wands is news. It is news and things changing fast or moving fast, which is interesting because right next to the Chariot Reverse, that's coming to a dead stop. Maybe communication has come to a dead stop. Eight of Wands is typically intimacy or communication or movement, but the Chariot Reverse is a dead stop. Somebody here cannot master their emotions at all. You know, they can't. Strength Reverse, Chariot Reverse, they're really... Uh, having a hard time controlling, you know. Definitely unstable. Holding on is getting old. It's been over. It's been over. But we have somebody here that is too scared. They're too weak. They're too weak to uh, make a move. Mm. Okay. Three cards. Knight of Cups reversed, Ten of Wands, and the King of Cups reversed. So we may have a commitment phobic here with the Knight of Cups reversed, or somebody that doesn't even know what love is. This may be a heartbreaker, a womanizer, you know, somebody that is very controlling, doesn't communicate their feelings, withholds their feelings, uh, delusional, sweeps problems under the rug, is, is very challenged. 
um, angry, upset, you know, with the nine of wands, you know, they, they're, they're angry with all the challenges that life has given them. So they're not emotionally available. Um, this is somebody that is protecting themselves. They have a big wall up. Uh, that's the 10 of wands, not the nine of wands. This is overwhelmed, it's, but the nine of wands comes before that. So you can consider that, that little talk exactly because it all goes down the line. So actually, yes, we have somebody that's been angry. They've been angry with life. They've been facing a lot of challenges. They are definitely overwhelmed with the 10 of wands. They're overwhelmed. They've, they've tried really, really hard to carry some baggage or to carry a burden and to make themselves successful. But I feel like we have somebody here that is lacking in the love arena. They're lacking in the, uh, well, the love arena. <laughs> That's what they're lacking in. This is somebody that works, right? They focus, and it's interesting because the King of Pentacles reverse is somebody that focuses on their job, their money, their security more than they do a relationship. And that makes complete sense right here. This is somebody that, um, is weak, you know, they're weak, they're emotionally weak, you know, but I do feel like we have some heartbreak here. We may have somebody that is distraught, they're overwhelmed, they're overwhelmed with feelings, okay? There could be an emotional outburst ahead, somebody may be wait, making or uh, reaching a breaking point. Knight of Cups reversed, heartbreak. Emotions all over the place. Some of these emotions are definitely uh, overwhelming emotions. I'm serious. That is overwhelmed with emotions, feelings, but withholding them. You know, uh, withholding feelings. Holding on to them, not releasing them, not letting them go. Holding in the emotions, holding in the feelings. So somebody's really holding in. They're holding in their feelings. They're trying to prove their strength. When actually, if you can't express your feelings, you're actually weak. And I see weakness here. I absolutely do. If you can't follow your heart, then you're, then you're a shallow, egotistical individual. There is somebody here that's really shallow. There is. Whew. King of Cups reversed. Emotionally withdrawn. Controlling. There is control issues here. Absolutely. Um, these fell out. I'm going to put them right over here. Communication coming to a stop. Movement coming to a stop. Eight of Pentacles reversed. It's interesting because we have four eights. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Eight, the Strength card, and the Eight of Cups. Eight, 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 eight. But three of them are reversed. So we got somebody here is not getting the abundance. They're fighting change. What the time is now, but they're resisting it. And I can see that change is needed. We had the tower, we had the Wheel of Fortune and the death card, and then the five. Change is needed. But we got somebody here's not putting in much effort. Last card out is the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Something isn't working out. They're going backwards. Somebody's going backwards. They're repeating. They're repeating the same things over and over and over again. And there's a lot of karma here because eights are a number of karma because the infinity, what goes around, comes around. You know, something keeps coming back around and it's a very karmic number. So somebody's getting a lot of karma because, oh God, they, can't, they haven't learned the life lesson of strength. The strength to walk away from a emotionally unfilling, unfulfilling situation. They can't master their emotions to get in the driver's seat and take charge of their life. This is somebody that is very shallow, very egotistical, very controlling. This person has control issues, has lacks respect for others because they've had a hard life and they've had to prove themselves their whole life. So now they've reached a point where they just don't care. They just don't care who they hurt.
Two of Cups reversed. <laughs> Two of Cups reverse is a separation. It's an unhappy couple that's not compatible with each other. We have somebody here that is weak. They're in a weak partnership as well. They're in a controlling partnership. They're unable to take the lead. They've, they've, they've given away their power to somebody. Two of Cups, reverse, that's a separation, it is a breakup. Not working out, next to the Eight of Pentacles, reverse, not trying hard enough. Oh. Chariot, reverse, lack of willpower, lack of discipline, to separate somebody, it's like they're really not happy. Nine of Cups, reverse, this is, a, this is dissatisfied, not satisfied, very not satisfied, not satisfied with the partnership, not satisfied with the union, fighting feelings. Mm. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Whew. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now that is somebody that is greedy. I mean, and it is connected to the King of Pentacles reversed. We got the King of Pentacles reversed, the Strength card reversed, and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Then underneath the Queen of Pentacles reversed, we have the Two of Cups reversed. We have a partnership here. We have a couple that do not have shared values. Okay, they don't. This is a weak partnership. They're not on the same page. It looks good. It may look good on the outside, but it's very superficial with the Eight of Cups reversed. It's a weak union. It's a control. It's ego. It's an ego-based partnership. It's definitely, we definitely have, neither one of these people are interested in the union. They're not. Neither one of them are putting in much effort because they're both in it for security reasons. That's it. Because there ain't no love here. So you'll keep getting that bad karma because you're not acting with integrity. Queen of Pentacles reverse, King of Pentacles reverse is lacking integrity. It's not real. Something is about to happen. There's going to be a dismantling of a false sense of security. Everything changes. Right? That's the Wheel of Fortune in the Tower that we saw at the beginning. Everything changes. There's going to be a happening. It's going to be a shock. A false sense of security is about to crumble. We have some very materialistic, shallow people here that do not even have shared values that are working together. It's not a solid foundation. It's not stable. It's all false. The whole goddamn thing is false. It's based on lies. It's based on false pretenses. It's, it's, it is. I think it's going to be an emotional time. I do. I think there's, we have, we, there it is. With the Knight of Cups reversed and the King of Cups reversed, it's very, something is happening. It's going to be extremely emotional. We have somebody here that's really in their emotions over a loss, but if they've let their ego control their own happiness. So, hey, if you can't master your ego, and I can see we got somebody here that can't master nothing. If you can't master your ego, then you might have short-lived success, but it won't be long-term. I feel like we have a disconnection here with the Two of Cups reverse. Something is not working out. Wheel of Fortune is a, a change in direction. The universe is in control, believe it or not. There could be a fight with that tower card. Fighting over money, perhaps. There's definitely strong control issues here. Not in, in a loss of power, a loss of control. It's like somebody has given their power away to somebody that is money hungry. 
is only in it for the money. Both these people are just in it to have something to hold on to. Period. That's it. <clears throat> Ooh. What do you think it is? Devil reversed. Toxic, unhealthy bond, breaking free, or things getting worse. This could be a disaster, especially when you have the death card in the same reading. We have somebody here that is tied to a situation for codependent reasons. There's definitely been a lot of materialism, a lot of obsession, lust, greed, ego. This is freedom. It's freedom. It's breaking free. It's breaking free from something. And I put it in there right underneath the Queen of Pentacles, reverse, and the Two of Cups. We got somebody here that is breaking free from a unstable, insecure, codependent situation, partnership where there's no success. On, on behind that Two of Cups reverse is the Chariot reverse. That's no success. No victory because of weakness, because of fear, because of not wanting to deal with the opposition. But something's going to happen fast because that tower happens, it comes out of the blue, okay? You don't see it coming. All of a sudden, there's a, there's a major upheaval or a major shakeup or a major disruption in the foundation. All of a sudden, things explode and there could be an outburst ahead. With the chariot reversed and these emotions, I'm telling you what, there could be an emotional or an angry outburst ahead. We have a partnership where these two people do not have shared values. It's toxic. It's codependent. Uh, it's, they're just in it for the financial reasons. Somebody's been grieving. They've been grieving over a loss because they're too weak to take action. But there is freedom here because the devil reversed is freedom. So your advice is to break free from this partnership. The, eight, the devil is in the advice position. Your advice is to break free from this codependent situation or it's going to get worse. Okay, it goes the devil reverse, the two of cups reverse, and the eight of pentacles reverse. The eight of pentacles reverse could be like losing money, losing a job, losing creativity, losing, losing your gift, losing your ability to work, you know? I mean, things, losing a job, losing money, you're, you know? Things will get worse, and there is a loss of money here that's going to happen. If you, if you don't take action now and break free from this codependent situation or codependent behavior or whatever it is, if you can't find your mental strength and your discipline and your willpower to control yourself, then you're going to lose. Okay? You're going to lose. You are. Somebody could lose money. They could be losing a job. They could be losing a partner. They're losing something of value. Put it that way. Is you need to make this change and you need to do it now. Eights are the time is now. Right now. Stop wasting your time because you're about to lose something. You are and you're going to have regrets. There's regrets. Five of Cups is regrets. There's regrets for holding on to something that is not really making you happy. Somebody's not been doing anything. They haven't, but they've been not going anywhere. They've been overindulging. You know, somebody could definitely lose a job or they're going to be losing money. <laughs> they're going to be losing something of value, put it that way, because of their own addictions, because of their own um, ego. You know, we got somebody here that has uh, some serious addictions that are affecting their commitments and this could be a job it could be a home it could be a relationship it, whatever it is somebody's about to lose something of big value because they can't find the willpower and the discipline to control themselves and be honest with themselves Oh my God, now the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. That is a horrendous loss. A shocking, unpredictable, horrendous loss. A loss of fortune. Unfortunate event. If you don't, and it's right next to that devil reversed. If you don't break free from whatever this is that is based on ego and codependency, there's going to be a huge, unfortunate loss. 
This is bad luck, it is a setback. It's a partnership, it is, because the Two of Cups is in reverse right next to it. It's not gonna work out anyway. Whew! Magician reversed, no success. Unplanned. Loss of power. Fall from power. We have somebody here that's not being honest with themselves. They may even be a pathological liar. There could even be an, uh, an abuse of power here. We may have somebody, I do believe that we do have somebody here that is very, very arrogant, that they may, they may feel like they are above the law. You know, they can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. This is somebody that has no moral conscience, conscience that thinks that they are God, you know, they're God's gift or whatever. You know, they don't care who they hurt. I know that's what, no moral conscience. Somebody is abusing them, their power. They're abusing other people. There's going to be a setback with that wheel of fortune. It's like trying to control. You're not God. Ace. It's not an ace. It's a one. But I see the one. I saw the ace. But we have the ace of pentacles. But it's reversed. So that's losing, losing a golden opportunity. Lost opportunity. Dishonesty. Emotionally dishonest. Loss of resources. I got a sneeze coming. <laughs> Had to sneeze. So the magician reversed is a, is a no. It's no success. It's an unplanned lost opportunity. Somebody is losing something because they didn't take action. They were unwilling to shed the old to bring in the new. They didn't believe. They didn't have faith. They didn't have faith in themselves. They may have even lied to other people and lied to themselves. Losing a huge opportunity for success because they're unwilling to take action. So this is definitely a loss. One more and that's it. Wheel of Fortune reversed is a setback. It is a setback, you know, it's going backwards. It's repeating negative patterns. Somebody could be coming back around as well with the Eight of Cups reversed and the Wheel of Fortune reversed and, and the Death card reversed. Something may not be over yet. We may have somebody here that made a poor, I don't know if it's a financial decision or whatever it is, they made a poor choice to get involved in a partnership with somebody for all the wrong reasons, for egotistical reasons, for codependency reasons. Oh my goodness gracious. Weak, ineffective, not working out. There's gonna be a change, a change in status, a change in status. One more card. Ooh, world card reversed. This is unfinished business, right? I mean, this is lacking goals, lack of will, uh, refusing to explore new avenues, staying stuck in the present, not learning from mistakes, lack of success. We got somebody here that is not having, they're not going to have any success by staying in the emotionally unfilling, unfulfilling situation that is toxic. This could also be leaving without saying goodbye. There could, somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. Lack of completion, lack of closure, toxic. Disaster, I feel like they're in the tower is a disaster as well. There's, I feel like there's some sort of disaster here and I'm sorry to say that. This is an unfortunate loss because somebody is not finding their discipline to change. Good luck. <laughs>